brought to you by Helene Curtis, makers of Stop F deodorants, blowing cream, spray, and stick, suave hairdressing, and Endon Dandruff Treatment Shampoo. Now let's all play What's My Line? Now let's meet our award-winning What's My Line panel. First, the delightful star of stage and television, Miss Arlene Francis. And now a gentleman that is new to our panel, but not to the picture fans that have admired him in so many pictures, his newest to be released next week, God's Little Acre, Mr. Robert Ryan. Thank you, Arlene. On my left, a very gracious lady and one of Broadway's favorite columnists, Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. our popular regular panelist, a Random House publisher who gets some of his best words from his own American College Dictionary, Bennett Surf. And now here's our ever-living, ever-loving, ever-knowing, fashionably nonchalant master of ceremonies, Mr. John Charles Davis. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to What's My Line. I know that our audience here in the theater with us has been in the East for at least the last two days, or that's a fair presumption, and it's good of them to be able to produce all this enthusiasm in all this wet weather. See if we can get some enthusiasm out of the panel with some very tricky occupations. I think we're going to give them a rough time tonight. We'll also have a famous mystery guest before the panel a little bit later in the show, and we'll meet our first challenger in just one minute. Stay tuned. There's more black and white overnight coming right up. Take National Lampoon. Put it together. Now, let's meet our first contestant. Panel looks relaxed and ready, so will our first contestant sign in, please? Rudolph. Pratt, right? Yes, sir. From Orlando, Florida. Orlando, Florida. Well, that yes, accounts sir. for that good tan. Nice to have you here with Thank us, you, sir. sir. Mr. Pratt, would you meet the panel? Panel, Mr. Pratt, will you come and join me now? Uh, are you familiar with the way we keep score? Yes, sir. I never miss this show. Oh, well, thank you, Mr. Pratt. That's very nice. We <laughs> hope the panel will miss a few things right now. But first of all, let's let the folks at home and those who've come and joined us in the theater know exactly what your line is. tell you that Mr. Pratt is salaried, and let's begin the general questioning with uh, Bennett Cerf. Mr. Pratt, do you perform some kind of service for mankind? Yes, sir, I do. Is there a product involved in this service? Yes. Mm -hmm. There is. Yes, sir. Is it a product that uh, could be held in the hand? Yes. <laughs> Smaller than Steve Allen's bread box? Yes, sir. He, put, he mentioned my name on his show. Now I got to return the copy. <laughs> what did he, he say about you? No, let's keep this nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mr. Pratt, the uh, Orlando is a great big air base near there. Do your services and products ever get mixed up with the boys at that base? <laughs> We would like to say that um, it is safe to assume that the products that Mr. Pratt himself is directly concerned with would not get mixed up with the air base or the boys on it. That makes it <laughs> one down nine to go, Miss Francis. Well, in that case, Mr. Pratt, is it a product that women would enjoy? No, <laughs> so I got two down and eight to go, Mr. Ryan. Mr. Pratt, is this product... Uh, very often found in the home. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Is it found, uh, could it be found in uh, most any room in the house? Yes. It could. Is it a product that uh, people are happy to have? <laughs> no. no, I don't think no. so. That's three down and seven to go, Miss Kilgallen. Well, may I take it that this is not a luxury product? <laughs> This isn't something you'd save up to buy. No. Uh, does it have any moving parts? Or does it move? Yeah. Yes, it says moving. What, what is your question, Dorothy? Does well, it... either one. Does it move around? It isn't just something that sits there. Well, I mean, your fir the first part of your question is, does it have moving parts? The answer to that is yes. Okay. Uh, is this ever alive before or after you get it? Yes. Is it in the animal kingdom? Yes. Well, it doesn't sound much like a pet. Is it something other than a normal house pet? Yes. Yes. Mm. Uh, you, you said w women wouldn't enjoy it. That's right. Uh, <laughs> would you say that very few men would enjoy it, too? True. That's true. So it's kind of an undesirable little thing. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is it? Uh, it's in the animal kingdom. Does it have legs? Yes. Does it have four legs? No, it does not. That makes Ooh. it four down and six to go, Mr. Sir. It hasn't got four legs. Has it got two legs? No, it does. Nothing. Doesn't does. have two legs. At least two legs. That's five down and five to go, Miss Francis. Well, I, it's hardly ever that I've seen a bug with one leg, so I'm going to go beyond <laughs> that. <laughs> it hasn't got two and it hasn't got four. It must have more than that number, does it, Mr. Pratt? That's true. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. It crawls around, does it? Yes. Uh-huh. And uh, is your effort to get rid of this little pest for the housewife? To get rid of, is his effort to get rid of this little pest? Well, I mean, if he deals in the product, and obviously the product has something to do with this little pest, he's not around to propagate it, I feel sure. Are you talking about our guest, or is this just another <laughs> general area? <laughs> <laughs> Music. <laughs> I mean, is your question, is Mr. Pratt directly concerned with getting rid of this pest? Is that which, which you mean? I think everybody ought to be concerned with this problem. <laughs> <laughs> May I ask if Mr. Pratt's product, whatever it is, <laughs> is something antagonistic <laughs> for these miserable little things that are found crawling around on more than four legs? <laughs> is his product antagonistic to whatever it is that's crawling around on more than four legs? That's you, your question. You've taken an awful lot out of me for just a no answer, John. <laughs> that's right. That makes it six down and four to go. Mr. Ryan. Is the animal involved uh, to people who have bizarre tastes edible? <laughs> 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 to people who have bizarre tastes in food. Taste, as, is it edible? You know, people eat no, I think we'd have to give them a note. No, that. no, That's no. seven down and three to go, Miss Kilgallen. Well, to get back to Mr. Pratt's product, <laughs> is it the thing itself? I, is this, whatever it is, your product? So you have something to do with this, not something that's antagonistic toward it, but the thing itself. This living creature is your product. That's right. Well, sir, well, do you breed these things for some reason? In a manner of speaking, yes. Mm -hmm. There must be some scientific reason for it if it's not <coughs> a foodstuff. That's uh, true. Is there a scientific reason? That's right. Uh, are, are these creatures used in scientific experiments? They are. Uh, in laboratories? That's right. Now we just <laughs> have to find out what they are. I That's guess. all. <laughs> And they haven't got four legs. Have they got six legs? That's right. Are they a type of insect? That's true. Um, if I saw one in my kitchen, would I blanch? I imagine you would, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Cockroach. 
what would you be breeding them for? Talk loud. <laughs> One type of insect rather than a lot of types of insects? Yes. Yeah. Well, is it a cucaracha? Cucaracha? Mm -hmm. No, that's A down and two down. It's not here, <laughs> <laughs> but, but, Mr. Pratt, it Thank is you, an Bennett. insect. That's true. Well, if you said cockroach, it'd have done better. <laughs> uh, it, is, it is not in the cockroach family, is that correct? <laughs> no, it is no, not. I don't know what the cockroach family is. That's is right. it in the, would you say it was in the beetle or worm family? It has legs. Uh, well, a beetle. No, it's not in that. Uh, Nine doesn't want to go, Miss Francis. Does this fly ever? No. no Ten no. daughter, no more to go. It's such a simple occupation. I can't understand why you didn't get it. Mr. Pratt raises fleas. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> And I rush to explain that Mr. Pratt works for the entomology division. <laughs> research division of the Department of Agriculture. It actually raises these fleas so that we can find out how to get rid of them or keep them under control. Out of control, Don't that's right. Don't fly. Fleas they fly. Only jump? Don't they fly? They jumpers. And right. they, are, they have six legs, please? That's true. True insects. Insect. True insect. You live and learn, don't you? You live and learn. We go home tonight, new people, all of us. Fleas have got six legs. See, you look at television and there you are. Educational television, we call it. Thank you very much, Mr. Pratt, for sticking with that. Panel, that was a tough one, admittedly. Let's see what you can do with the second challenger. Will you come in and sign in, please? Emma? Emma Thayer. Is that right? Mrs. Thayer, Mrs. Thayer, the panel. Where are you from, Mrs. Thayer? Berkeley, California. Berkeley, California. Will you come over here with me, will you? And sit down uh, right here. Do you know how we keep score? Oh, indeed I do. All right, then let's let everybody home and in the theater, except my friends over on the panel there, know exactly what your line is. Mrs. Thayer is self-employed, and let's begin the general questioning with Arlene Francis. Mrs. Thayer, you look like such a happy woman. <laughs> uh, Thank you. Does the work that you do make other people happy? Yes, I hope so. Is the work that you do, does it involve human beings as opposed to the animal world? Well, I would say yes. Yes, to the degree yes. that the work that Mrs. Thayer performs is useful and can be applied, it would be applied to human beings rather than to animals. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, do they come to you for your services, Mrs. Thayer? No. No, that's a difficult question to answer, really, in this context, but we'll give you a no anyway. That's one down and nine to go, Mr. Ryan. You, uh, do you go to them, Mrs. Thayer? No. Thayer. No, actually, I have to give you a no, too, Bob. Mm -hmm. This is a question that's difficult to answer in the context of, of Mrs. Thayer's appearance here in her occupation. There is no specific coming or going in either direction. It's a voluntary act on the part of the glockenspiel with a Murgatroyd thrown in on the front. <laughs> Miss Uh Mrs. Thayer, do you have anything at all to do with the world of entertainment or amusement? No. That makes it uh, three down and seven to go, Mr. Sir. There was a slight murmur of rebellion from the audience at that. Yes, I noticed that. <laughs> Mrs. Thayer, the University of California is located in Berkeley. Yeah. Does your work ever bring you in contact with either the people on the campus there or the actual facilities of the University of California? No, only socially. Only socially. Yeah. Four down and six to go, Miss Francis. Mrs. Thayer, do you have anything to do with writing? Yes. Do you perhaps do some kind of a column? No. Five down and five to go, Mr. Ryan. Does it come under the heading of, of 
what is called creative writing, Mrs. Thayer? Yes. It, it does. Um, is it uh, published writing? Yes. Uh, is it published in a periodical? No. no. That makes it six down and four to go, Miss Kilgallen. Do you write books, Mrs. Thayer? Yes. Uh, are they works of fiction? Yes. Uh, do we have to get something else, some particular... Well, actually, it's a are particular... Are you a novelist? Uh, is it a mystery? Are you a mystery novelist? Right. Right. <laughs> Actually, Mrs. Thayer, who writes under the name of Lee Thayer, and am I allowed to say that you're over 80? Is that all right? Yes. Has written 57 murder mysteries. That's her, her fourth. And still alive to tell about it. And still alive to tell about it, and working on her 50th. Dodd Mead. The last 35. Very good publisher. And I want you to notice that Random House just asked a question that had to bring another answer than Random House. That's very <laughs> nice of you, Bennett. <laughs> well, Mr. Taylor, it's been very nice having you with us. It's and been we, lots of fun. I've enjoyed it very much. We gave him a little trouble, too. Just a little. Little trouble, <laughs> but we gave him some trouble. That's the main thing. Thank you very much. <laughs> Tonight's mystery guest in just a moment, but first here is a word from our alternate sponsor. And now we come to the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery celebrity, for which I've asked my friends on the panel to blindfold themselves. Blindfolds all in place, panel? Yes. Good. Will you come in, mystery challenger, and sign in, please? Panel, as you know, in the case of our mystery guest, we go to a different form of questioning. You will ask one question at a time in turn, moving clockwise. And let's put Bob Ryan to work first. Well, from the very warm reception you got, uh, may I assume that you are in show business? Yes. Miss Kilgallen? Um, are you more famous for your work on the screen than your work on the stage, if any? Screen. Screen, yes. Just yes is the answer to that. Mr. Sir? Are, are you in a picture that has either recently opened on Broadway or is about to open within the coming few days? No. Um, what do you mean by recently? We don't want to mislead. Oh, within the last few weeks. Last few weeks? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That makes it one down and nine to go, Miss Francis. Are you a fairly new arrival to pictures? Yes. Mr. Ryan? Do you uh, sing? <laughs> Should I read those? Uh... <laughs> yes. Miss Kilgallen? Yes. I'd like to know why that was funny. <laughs> Uh, do you make records? Yes. Mr. Sir? Uh, have you ever appeared in a New York nightclub? Or hotel floor? Yes. Miss Francis? You have been a little hesitant about your answers to us. Is it possible that you are not born in America? No. You are born in America. No, yes, no. yes, our guest was not born in America, no. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> Mr. Ryan? Uh, let me think. Are you uh, best known for your work as a dramatic actress? Are you best known for your work as a dramatic actress? I would think uh, here is a difficult area, Bob, because we've already elicited from our guest that um, there is singing involved and acting, but I would say that her, certainly a public reputation is in, in a large degree based upon a fine talent as an actress, yes. Miss Kilgallen? Are you a blonde? 
No. Two dollars eight to go, Mr. Sir. Well, you say you were not born in America. Were you born in on the European continent? No. Three dollars and seven to go, Miss Francis. Did she say no? No. Mm-hmm. Was she born on the Asiatic? Were you born on the Asiatic continent? No. Nope. Four down and six to go, Mr. Ryan. We haven't got much left, men. <laughs> <laughs> were you were you born below Texas? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, that makes it five down and five to go, Miss Kilgallen. Were you born on an island rather than a continent? Yes. Mr. Sir? Would that island be Great Britain? No. Is that no? six down and four to go, Miss Francis? Would that island be Japan? Yes. Ah. Ah. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Mr. Ryan? It's Duke Yankee time. <laughs> Was it my turn? Yes. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. Uh, Japan. Um, I worked with a Japanese actress one time. You want to talk Is it about possible it now? Uh, that you could be Shirley Yamaguchi? Shirley Yamaguchi, did you say? Yes. No, that no. makes it seven down and three to go, Miss Kilgallen. Are you currently singing at the Blue Angel in New York, and did you win an Academy Award? Yes. Yes. Okay. Miyoshi Umeki. Oh, I can't mention the name, but she was in Sayonara and married Umeki. Red Buttons. Umeki. 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 Is that right? Is that right? <laughs> it is right. It is hard to change. Well, everybody has trouble with it, but you did it very well. They had no idea of any kind that they could even go chasing after. Oh, so you're enchanting life. in the picture, Miss Umiki. Don't mind me. Lovely. Me. You are most enchanting, and you have been enchanting as our guest tonight. Thank, Thank you very much for joining us very. on What's My Life. <laughs> Contestant after this word from our sponsor. Let's have a final contestant and panel put you on the metal because this is going to be very quick. Will you sign in there, please, sir? Yes, sir. <coughs> Umberto. Bonfante. Yes, sir. Aubin. Correct. Right? How do you do? Did you come over here and just tell me on the way where you're from? Well, I born in Colombia, South America, but I am a resident of New York City. And you know how we keep score? Yes. All right, fine. Let's let everybody at home and our friends in the theater except the panel know exactly what your line is. All right, panel. You have a minute, <laughs> you have a minute and a half. Mr. <laughs> O'Byrne is salaried. We'll begin with Dorothy Kilgallen. Mr. O'Byrne, uh, is there a product involved in what you do? No. No. One down and nine to go, Mr. Mr. Sir. Mr. O'Byrne, you're a very husky gentleman. Uh, do you participate in some form of athletics? No. That makes it two down and eight to go, Miss Francis. Do you work for a non-profit organization, Mr. O'Byrne? No. Three down and seven to go, Mr. Wright. You work for a profit. Do you, uh, do you deal with both men and women? In your service? No. No. Well, I give you an equivalent yes or no on that, because mm -hmm. it's such a wide area we could say that both men and women are benefited by them. So you go ahead, Mr. Ryan. Do, uh, do the people that you are involved with, do they uh, seek out your services? No. Do not. Well, here again, if I may, a qualified yes or no, because an action is necessary to get the full benefit of his services. I'll pass. <laughs> Miss Kilgallen? Uh, is there anything physical about your work as well as mental? Well, yes. It's not just a desk job. No. No, I'm sorry we ran out of time. I thought you might really jump to this very quickly because Mr. O'Byrne broadcast Yankee baseball games in Spanish. <laughs> On what station is it? Thank you very much for being our guest and telling us that you have more time. Nice to have you. An 
interesting bit of information, actually. Mr. O'Byrne broadcast to some one million Spanish-speaking people who live in this general area and who are Yankee baseball fans. And with that happy note, until next week, this is John Daly saying good night, Miss Arlene Francis. Thank you, Senor. Good night, Bob. It was lovely to have you with us. Thank you, Arlene. Remember me to Sydney. I'll do that. Good night, Dorothy. Good night. Good night. Buenas noches, Good Night, John. I hope none of those fleas got off on you. <laughs> Soyanara, Mr. Sir. And thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for being with us on What My Life. If you'd like to attend our broadcast and see the panel and our guests in person, write for tickets to What's My Line, CBS Television, 485 Madison Avenue, New York, 22, New York. Transportation for contestants on What's My Line is arranged by American Airlines. What's My Line is a Mark Goodson, Bill Totman production in association with the CBS Television Network.